Hi, Christina Pekus here, and today I want to talk a little bit about planning a winter running wardrobe, not a capsule, because a capsule implies pieces that are meant to go together and coordinate and maybe even a set number of things. What I'm really talking about is looking at what I need to run in my environment and making things to fill the necessary gaps. So I run about three times a week. I run outside, except in the absolute worst weather. In most weather, I will. And um, But if I go into a running store and I look for things, they have nothing for me. They don't have things that are my size at all. Some places call an extra large like a size 12. So that certainly won't fit me. So I need to make my own things. And I can repurpose some things I have for I've already made or that I've made for other that I can have from other purposes but I really do need to have a lot of things to keep me warm dry safe and comfortable while I run and I also run most of the time early in the morning about 5 15 maybe 5 30 I try to get out at five o'clock but it takes me a little bit to get going and so it's dark and it's also the coldest time of the day and I live in Maryland, where they call it America in miniature for lots of reasons. And one is that we have all the seasons and sometimes in one day. So it can get quite cold in the winter. And it can also rain and be icy and we can have snow, things like that. So let me go through what my thought process was and show you what my plans are. So one thing I did do was I went to look at what I could buy. And um, then I also looked at what influencers or runners said that they wear in various temperatures. And it's funny because um, some people consider 40 degrees cold and then some people are still wearing shorts and a t-shirt in 40 degrees. So I think some of this is going to be a little bit of trial and error. Um, and my own experience running a few years ago and what I remember, um, for example, I, I, I know I'm happy until, you know, below 55 or maybe 50 degrees wearing shorts and a t-shirt. But um, at what point, you know, do I start putting on a jacket? I found this article by Tina Muir um, to be very useful. Um, and I'm going to share the link to my uh, Pinterest board here. And I'll probably keep adding to it. Um, but she uh, does it, almost all. It, it is worth noting that almost all of the people um, who give these recommendations are sponsored. So you take that into account. But, you know, she talks about, you know, for each drop in 10 degrees, you know, she'll add a longer sleeve t-shirt and then she'll add a jacket and then she'll add a vest and so on. I also looked at places like Running Warehouse, Roadrunner Sports, Title IX Sports, and then a few others that came up in searches. I've decided that I need uh, an outside jacket and I'm going to make the Styla Kodiak. Uh, I will probably want to make a 12 first because I've never made anything from this company before, but um, here's the line drawing for it. You can see that it has a channeling. So um, one thing, uh, you might want to keep uh, air from flowing up into the jacket. So I could tighten that down around my waist. It has pockets, it's lined, and uh, it has a hood, and the hood also has toggles. So I plan to make that out of a stretch DWR um, technical fabric from Discovery Fabric. I, it's already on its way. 
Um, I bought it in their sale. Uh, so this isn't going to be 100% um, rain proof in, in a really rainy day, but generally I am only running well, less than an hour for sure right now. Um, and I'd rather have the ventilation, you know, that the breathability, uh, you do trade off a little bit of breathability for rain, um, protection from the rain. I already have uh, a number of Sundance jackets. I uh, made them during the, um, when they expanded it from, uh, you know, into the more improved sizes. And this one that I'm showing right now is, it's like a soft shell type material. It's smooth on the outside and it's fuzzy on the inside. And I can wear that. Um, and I have two others that I can also wear. And I want to make a vest. And I plan to use, actually, um, spoiler alert, I did already make the vest. And I'll talk about that in a future video. I plan to use the Oakley. So there's two different kinds of vests that people generally make for running. Um, one is a thin one that just offers some wind protection and um, some water um, protection, some water resistance. And then others are puffer vests. I think I have some other layers that I can use um, in place of a puffer vest, six and fleece. So my point is to really have one that um, is it blocks the wind and um, just adds a little bit of warmth. I have a um, this orange fabric that is um, shiny and water resistant. I've tested it and um, I'm going to line that with a dimple mesh. For mid-level tops, so this is what you would wear. You could wear it by itself or over, you know, with a sports bra or over another shirt. And you could also wear it underneath the either of the other jackets. And I'm going to make it out of the Pacific pullover. I have one already um, with this zipper front. I'm going to make another one like that. But I'm going to add um, uh, thumb cuffs and maybe a watch um, port so I can look at my watch and I have this pin dot stretch from Nick of Time fabrics that I'm going to use and I might use some gray that I have that's very similar um, for the contrast pieces. I already have one that's a, a dark gray and a burgundy. I'm not worried about matching. Um, if I find a good fabric and I'm going to make it, I'm running at like five o'clock in the morning so I'm not worried about being color coordinated. Um, besides sports bras, which I wear the green style endurance, I wear these Ascend tanks because I find that they're just nice. They fit nicely. There's ventilation, but still adequate coverage. And I have those from summer. I'll keep wearing those. For short sleeve tops, I like the Love Notions Classic Tee. Here's one I made out of Dimple Mesh. I'll just keep wearing those. Um, they have a little bit more room at the bottom. Um, and they're, they're, they seem to just be just a nice fit for running. And for long sleeve tops, I've made two of the green style lured. I'm, they have the, um, the pleat on the back, so they have a little bit more room, but, um, the sleeve is just fitted enough where it's not tight at all, but you can wear it underneath a jacket without any problems. So I'll keep those and I'll add them into the mix. For bottoms, um, most of my running tights that I have are actually fairly thin. Um, so I have ordered from Mill Yardage some of their um, their stretch, like fleece lined, but it's still 50% stretch. 50% stretch might not be enough for the spark and strides. I might make the Cavallo uh, out of that. Um, if it's not quite that cold, if it's probably down to 40 or maybe even down to, to 35, I'll probably wear the tights that I have already. And I'm going to make some more out of um, a suplex from a green style. The suplex is just a little bit fuzzier, a little bit warmer without being too hot. And yes, the Polar Tech Wind Pro Stretch or Polar Tech Power um, Fleece.
And I'm thinking about making an overskirt um, because um, it just to keep my butt warm. <laughs> and uh, I would probably make it out of fleece first just to make sure it worked. Um, I don't know if I could repurpose something that was uh, like a puffer coat or something, but I'm going to see if I like it at all. Um, I might not like having uh, a skirt, you know, on when I run. I'm not sure. I'm just going to try it. I'm going to try the Anzu because I have it. It's not quite as size inclusive as some. I've great, had to grade it up one for me, but it has the A-line shape. And also I would want the zipper so I could get it on without taking my running shoes um, off. I can just put it on over top. As for accessories, um, I have a hat that I wear for sun, but I'm looking at making more um, ear warmers specifically. And then also I like the slouchy beanie from Patterns for Pirates because I can put my um, ponytail right in it. And I will probably use the, um, use like some sweater knit that I have left over um, and other scraps of fabric I have left over to make that. So that concludes my, and I went through, this is my, on my blog post and I'll link to that. That concludes my plans for my uh, runner, run, winter running wardrobe. And I'm um, happy to hear any feedback or any suggestions you might have for other things I might do. Um, oh, I, I I think I didn't mention I want to make some, I was thinking about making some mittens with the scraps left over from my vest or my jacket material to wear them over um, some cheap knitted gloves that I generally wear. Um, but I'd be happy to hear your suggestions and I'll let you know my progress.